in this video i am going to work out some exercises to show you how to use boolean algebra to minimize boolean expressions let's start from the first one where we have x into x naught or y and we want to minimize it basically when there is a bracket probably the best thing to do is to expand that bracket using the distributive law which means that we can expand the x with the x naught and with the y and we will obtain x and x naught or x and y it is very important that we always write down the law that was used in each step in this case the distributive law now here we have x and x naught and using the tautology law we know that when we have in tautology law a and a naught it gives us a zero therefore in this case x and x naught will give us a zero or x and y now we have here zero or x and y and we're using the same tautology laws we know that when we have a zero or a so zero or something else it will give us a or in other words that's something else therefore in this case using tautology we can say that this is x and y and that is the minimized or simplified version of x into x naught or y here we have another example this time we don't have brackets but we have three terms in order to simplify these three terms the best way is to find something common and for example here in these two terms we have x naught and z common it's common here and here therefore i am going to take out x naught and z and create a bracket so x naught and z into into this one it will, we will remain with a y naught or this one with a y or x and why not and here we have used a distributive law we know that why not or why using the tautology laws will give us a one therefore now we're going to get x and z and one or x and why not using the same tautology laws we know that when we have one and a it will give us a so in this case here we have x naught and z and one we can get rid of that one so we will get x naught and z or x and y naught and this boolean expression is simplified as well here we have another two in this case we have these um, three sets of brackets and for example here we have b and a or b so or b into a or b if we compare this with the absorption laws we can say that this can be simplified and written as b so now we have a or b or 
a into a naught or b using the absorption now this one can be expanded so a into a naught and a into b and we will get a or b or a and a naught or a and b and when we open brackets we're using distributive laws so the law is distributive now a and a naught using tautology a and a naught will give us a zero therefore we will get a or b or zero or a b and using again tautology we can get rid of that zero to get a or b or a b now using absorption law b or a and b will give us b therefore this will give us b using absorption so the final answer is a or b in other words we're saying here that this complex boolean expression is equivalent to a or b let's do this one now and here we have three sets of brackets i am not going to expand these brackets because if we focus on the first two we will notice that if we compare them to the distributive laws which are these we have x or y into x or y naught it's equivalent to having a or b into a or c naught instead of a here we have x instead of b we have y instead of c we have c naught we have y naught therefore this using this distributive law will become x or pi and y naught into x naught or z using the distributive law if we focus on this the y and y naught will become a zero with the tautology law so we'll get x or zero into x naught or z using tautology and again using tautology x or zero will become x so we can get rid of the zero so now we'll get x into x naught or z using the distributive we can open this bracket and expand it to get x and x naught or x and z and with the tautology law we know that x and x naught will become a zero and zero or something else using the same set of tautology laws as you can see here zero or a gives us an a 
therefore zero or something else will give us that something else therefore x and z using the tautology law so this is the final answer and basically we are saying that all this can be simplified into that one